Hey guys, get ready for three days of extreme cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. We are going to be doing a massive storage room closet clean out, decluttering and organizing our bathroom on a budget, and sharing a recipe. Lots we're doing today, so get ready. Keeping those, we don't have a ping pong table. What if I get a ping pong table? You don't understand how to come con Mari. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you don't find cause you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes, your head is full Hello to all of my wonderful YouTube friends, I hope you're ready And why are there shoes on the couch? Someone please tell me I totally know why there's clothes or shoes on the couch I feel like multiple times a day, I ask myself that question Why is that thing there? It should not be there Anyways, before we get into this video, I just want to take a moment to thank you for being here and watching my video. I know with me personally, life is busy, life is crazy, time is precious. I have very little time for myself and I know you're in the same boat. So the fact that you're spending your free time watching me, it means a lot and I'm grateful for you. So I'm getting ready to clean my sink here and I have something very, very, very important I want to share with you regarding a very popular cleaning hack and why you should not be doing that cleaning hack. I'll tell you that here in a minute, but I'm using the Dawn Power Wash in my sink and then I have the Aunt Fanny's Cleaning Vinegar Spray. We all know the power of Dawn dish soap and vinegar together. It's a wonderful cleaner, so I decided to combine it here for cleaning my sink and the Aunt Fanny's Cleaning Vinegar Spray has a scent to it. So it was just something a little bit that I added to my cleaning routine and I thought it did a really, really good job on my sink. And I get the Aunt Fanny's Cleaning Vinegar Spray from Grove Collaborative, but I'll explain why I started doing this combo here in a minute. So if I need a super quick, super fast cleanup of my stovetop, I spray the Jaws kitchen degreaser. And then if there's still some like burnt on spots there, and I don't feel like getting out all of my cleaners and doing the whole thing, I grab this Scotch Bright sponge. It's a specific Scotch Bright sponge for stovetops. I bought it from Target. I'll have it linked in the description. But you just get it wet with water. That's it. Wet with water. And then you scrub using the water and the sponge and you're going to watch all of the spots come off now this is not a miracle sponge i mean there are times where it doesn't get all of the spots up but if there's just a few small spots that i know aren't really burnt on there 
this. I grab this, it gets cleaned up really quickly. It just comes in handy. But I recently got a kettle, which if, if you're from the UK or probably any other country, it's I, I believe it's very common to have kettles. I've never had one in my house. I don't know if I know anyone who has a kettle, but I bought one because we are having issues with our drain recently. And one of you guys in my last video, I believe someone from the UK said it's really popular there to put a dishwasher tab in your disposal or in your sink and then pour some boiling water down there. I've also used boiling water to clean my parents' gas stovetop grates and I'm going to use it when I mop. So I thought this would just be a little bit so I just thought this would be helpful in many ways, and not to mention Mike does enjoy drinking tea in the winter. But if you were the one who shared that with me, or if you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know if I did it right. You just throw a tab down there and then pour, pour some boiling water. Is that how you do it? So the cleaning hack that I said you should not be doing, a couple weeks ago we were having issues with our drain. It got clogged. I had actually thrown down some food that had a lot of fat on it. That was the reason for it. But we had to call a plumber and when he came, he said, just FYI, absolutely do not put baking soda down your drain. You know how a lot of people pour baking soda down their drain and then pour white distilled vinegar, it fizzes up, it suds up, gets all of the crud out of your drain or your disposal. He said, do not do that. And I'm like, he said, because what happens is eventually the baking soda gets really hard and clumpy and it sticks to the drain. So if you think about it, if you took baking soda, say you poured it on your oven door, and then you sprayed some water on the baking soda, made a paste, and you let it sit for two days. When you came back, it would be really, really hard. So think about that. Even if you're running water down your drain, I'm sure there's still some baking soda that gets stuck to the drain. Um, but to clean down there, I either use pods that are designed for the garbage disposal that you can get from Grove Collaborative or at the grocery store, or this new dishwasher tab with boiling water. So just wanted to share that. That's what our plumber shared with us. I don't know what other plumber plumbers would say though. When I was mopping the floors, I used a little bit. I didn't want all of the water to be boiling, but just a little bit of boiling water from the kettle with one teaspoon. Yes, you heard that right. One teaspoon of powdered Tide 
laundry detergent and my o cedar spin mop and i just thought the boiling water would help activate the tide a little bit more and then work a little bit better on our really dirty floors but here on day two i was determined to tackle the girls bathroom doors they are an absolute disaster and then after this mike and i are going to tackle our basement storage area you guys it is a mess we're going to be decluttering it get ready So Avery keeps all of her earrings in here and I think when I first organized these drawers maybe a year or two ago I don't think she had her ears pierced or if she did she had just gotten her ears pierced she didn't have a lot of earrings and so I put that with all of your normal bathroom stuff in these drawers but now she has so much jewelry she loves jewelry she has bracelets and tons of earrings and all of that so I'm like all right I'm gonna get her a jewelry organizer that she's gonna use and then I'll just keep our bathroom stuff in here and these drawer organizers are from target i will have them linked below but they're amazing they're very well priced budget friendly they come in a variety of sizes they're also a little soft like i don't know what they're made of but they can kind of give a little bit so you can really make it work for whatever size drawer that you have So Avery was in my video, I think last week, a lot more than normal. Um, but if you guys ever see, like if you're new here, I know some people think that I just have the twins, my three-year-olds, but I do have Avery who is seven. But if you see the twins more so in my videos, number one, the twins follow me around everywhere I go. If they're home and awake, Avery doesn't because she's seven. But the other part of this is I also find myself being a little bit more protective of her online than I do the twins right now just because of their ages. I mean, I'm protective of all of my kids, but as Avery gets older, it's hard for me to share more about her life because she's her own person and she's her own life and I want to be protective and not share everything about her. I don't want her life to be on YouTube. I don't want... I don't want to make YouTube or social media in general our world. I don't want her to think that I'm whipping out the camera every time we do anything. I don't want her to feel like that's what our lives revolve around because I know social media is big enough in, in kids' worlds and I just, I want to model good, healthy social media behavior and it's hard because I, you know, have a YouTube channel, I have an Instagram account and I'm just very thoughtful and how I approach it and I just never want her I don't want her to think social media is her life our life and I don't want her to always have a camera shoved in her face I don't want I don't want to make YouTube this I don't want to make it a big deal that I have a YouTube channel to her I am very proud of my YouTube channel but I just don't want to make it this big deal because I don't want social media to be her whole life you know so if you see the twins more in my videos that is why I'm definitely more protective of her and I will be more protective of them as they get older and grow and develop into their own people. I just want to be protective of my kids as much as I can.
Okay, so to clean the girls' bathtub, I tried something a little bit different, kind of a little bit different. So la in last week's video, I did the cleaning hack, and I've done this before, I just haven't done it in a while, where you fill up a dish wand with half Dawn dish soap and half white distilled vinegar, and then you can scrub. It's a great way to maintain your bathtub and shower because you can do it right after you're done showering. Well, someone had reached out and said that they have found what works even better is putting the Dawn, taking a... A spray bottle and putting one part dawn dish soap and then the other part white distilled vinegar put that in a spray bottle spray your shower or your bathtub down let it sit for a few minutes maybe five minutes or 10 and then go back and scrub and she said that giving the cleaner the vinegar and the dawn a, a few minutes to actually work before you scrub makes a huge difference so i tried it out here and i must say she was right it did a really really good job but what's kind of interesting about vinegar and dawn is that vinegar is a wonderful cleaner it's acidic but when you add vinegar to dishwashing liquid like dawn dawn is a neutral has a neutral ph that's why it's one of the best cleaners to just grab like if you have an area you're not sure if you can use cleaner on that surface i always like to use dawn because it's neutral well what happens is when you combine a neutral a ph neutral substance a cleaner with an acid it actually neutralizes the vinegar so it, you're pretty much taking away the very thing that makes vinegar work but with that being said i find this to be a very effective cleaner so that's what i used on their shower So what I was doing to pretty much wrap up the bathroom is I was spot cleaning the walls. There were some toothpaste marks on the wall and then just some other marks that I have no idea where they came from. And one of my favorite wall cleaners, I have a couple that are actual spray cleaners, but Dawn dish soap and hot water does a pretty good job as well. And it took off all of those little handprints and toothpaste marks off of the wall. But I was just going to hand mop the floors while I was in here, kind of doing more of a deep clean. And then Mike and I were going to tackle that storage space. It's really good because we had the time this day. Mike's parents took the girls to the zoo. I think grandparents are trying to squeeze out every blast bit of time they get with the girls before they go to school. So his parents had the girls for the day. So he was actually catching up on some work, even though it wasn't a work day for him. So he was catching up on some work. I was doing some deep cleaning tasks and then we were gonna tackle that storage area. I drive around So I know it seems crazy, um, but as we were in here, I told Mike just to pull the fall decorations out. It seems insane to be thinking about fall right now. I just spied a pumpkin. 
Um, but I mean, it'll be, I'll be decorating around Labor Day, maybe a few days before, which is in a month. So we decided to pull all of that out and it also made it a little bit easier in here to work with and organize. And we just put the fall decorations in our bathroom because we don't use that bathroom very often on the other side of this wall. So it's there when I need it in <laughs> three or four weeks. Keeping those, we don't have a ping pong table. What if I get a ping pong table? You don't understand how to come con Mari. <laughs> I thought that clip, I almost edited it out, but it added a little bit of character. You got to see a little bit of Mike and maybe gave you guys a little bit of uh, insight into our relationship. We have a, Mike is pretty sarcastic and we like to joke with each other a lot. We do have a lot of fun in our relationship. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, and this is my overwhelmed face right now. Not a lot we're getting rid of, but I'm telling you, every time Mike and I do this, which is usually two times a year, we always get rid of stuff. So it may not seem like you're getting rid of a lot, but this is why decluttering is an ongoing thing because every year we're able to get rid of more and more. So we finally got rid of the, we finally got rid of the crib mattresses because we have new ones for the twins. So we're just keeping them just in case, got rid of those, some garbage that's going to a friend an old car seat that we don't need, baby gates that we don't need, a steamer I'm donating, a TV stand, so. Okay, so obviously we don't have the fall stuff in here, but you can actually, look it, you can walk in here. I can walk in here and get stuff if I want. <laughs> that makes a huge difference. Um, I do keep some things in here like board games, which I will be so excited at the new house because we will have a room dedicated to most of the girls' toys and there'll be a closet in there. So I'll be able to keep all of the game, like board games and things like that with tiny pieces that, you know, when the kids have friends over and they're just going crazy and little, you don't want little pieces from game board games to get lost or anything. It'll be nice to put that up in a closet where it can't be touched. So I do keep some of the those games in here just so the little kids don't have access to it. It has been a long day, so I am making, we should have probably just ordered food or something, but I'm making one of our favorite meals. So the girls, all three girls specifically, love tacos. Since we eat a lot of tacos, I'm always looking for different ways to make tacos in a way, like using the same ingredients. And this is another favorite. It's homemade crunch wrap supremes. It's homemade crunch wraps. They are really, really good. And I'll show you guys how they make them or how I make them. And so these are what we like to make them with. They're nice and big. I get them from Walmart. I think I can get them even from Target, but they're really good. I also like using these to make like a turkey wrap for lunch or something like that, but Mike really likes them. We use them when I got really into strength training. I started following a lot of Instagram accounts that recommended this, so that's kind of why I got into using these. Um, but Mike really, really likes them. And so they're low on calories, low on sugar. Six grams of protein for a wrap, I think is pretty good. And only eight grams of carbs. So um, these are just a staple that we pretty much keep around the house now. Okay, so I put the lavish, lavish bread, whatever you call it, down there, and then I'm making Mike's first, so I just use the ground beef, the taco meat, the ground beef seasoned with taco seasoning and cheese, because that's all he likes for his, that's all he likes on his. I like to add lettuce, and then I dip mine in avocado, so that's why I do it, and then I fold it, I'll show you here in a minute, and then I brown each side. Good afternoon, guys. So, 
girls are napping. It's quiet in there, no talking. <laughs> They're napping and I have a few things that I wanna get done this afternoon. So the plan for this afternoon, I'm thinking like a power hour. Do you guys remember power hours on YouTube? Um, people used to do power hours all the time. You just don't see that very often. Um, but that's what I'm thinking tonight, like or this afternoon. Don't have a lot of time because I wanna get dinner started. But like a quick power hour of just doing a few things here in the bedroom cleaning a couple bathrooms and I will bring you guys along with me. Maybe you put me on your TV and we'll do a quick little power hour together. Just pick a few things that you want to get done and we'll tack them, tackle them together. I got all the signs but I couldn't run then I don't blame myself, couldn't see So I'm sure some of you have noticed, but our comforter, it's actually a duvet cover, but we get too hot at night. We do not put a duvet inside of the duvet cover, but it is shrinking and it does not fit our bed. So I am aware of that. Yes, I know my blanket on the sides will be sticking out, but I just don't want to buy anything until we get into the new house because it could be a waste. So my bed, my, my, uh, bedspread or whatever duvet cover top blanket is not big enough for my bed i'm aware of that but i'm just gonna wait until we get into the new house but we have some exciting news in our life avery made a travel softball team it's they say travel but it's not travel she's just playing other local cities so it's not really travel but it'll be fun she's really really excited she loves softball she tried out as her first tryout experience so she'll start softball in the fall and the twins will start soccer we're excited for a fun fall So our toilets get like this sometimes if it gets really humid outside and also we didn't use the toilet when we were on vacation for like four days so I think it was a combination of that. But also I have some self tanner on there and this happened a couple of weeks ago as well. So I'm going to show you how I clean it that way even if you don't use self tanner anything that gets on this is a wood I think it's like a wood or a wood composite toilet seat it stains pretty easily and the one thing that always gets any stains out of it Barkeeper's friend. Even you'll see here, like I think that's pretty typical of these type of toilet seats. So I'm gonna use a barkeeper's friend before I clean it. I'm looking for a brand new star. I know I got some trouble getting over you. I think that I have played my part. I need to get away somewhere far from you. I'm a bi, I'm a bi, playing tickets. 
Okay, so no self-tanning marks, and it's not perfect, but looks a lot better. So Barkeeper's friend for the win. You can either do the powder or the soft cleanser. The soft cleanser is just a little bit easier to work with. Um, I do know that the powder works a little bit better, but I knew the soft cleanser would be better for the toilet. I'm gonna say something, but then I'm like, Jamie, I feel like this is something you say after you do a lot of cleaning, but there's nothing better than a clean bathroom, which I say after I clean my pantry, my refrigerator, and floors, I think. But still, I don't know, I just, it's one of those rooms that when it's actually clean, even though it's not fully clean, I feel better. Maybe I just like a full, maybe I just like my whole house to be clean. Maybe there's nothing better than a full house that's clean. It just never lasts for very long. So I like to admire it when it happens. <sighs> okay, so the last thing I have to do, fold that laundry. Twins are up, but they're just chatting in there. I guess that's the benefit to having two. They're just sitting there chatting away, singing. So I'm gonna take advantage of them being occupied and fold this laundry. Avery's at um, a friend's house and I'm picking her up in 16 minutes. So let's see if I can get this done in 16 minutes. quickly I forgot to mention this yesterday but I get asked a lot where I store all my cleaning supplies so there's three main or cleaning tools there's three main areas so one of them is in this unfinished sto unfinished storage area just because I like to put things like carpet cleaners like I know you guys probably think I use them weekly but I really really don't maybe once a month if that so it doesn't need to be up on the main level everything else I keep in the closet off of the kitchen I keep a lot of my cleaning rags. I have a vacuum in there, my mop bucket and things like that. So that's nice because I have access to that right off of the kitchen. And then the other tools that I maybe use weekly or every other week, I put in the office in baskets and like my cube organizer. So I kind of spread them out throughout the home based on how I use them. Things I use daily are in kitchens, bathrooms right now. Things that I use on a weekly or maybe bi-weekly basis in the office, still a place that I can easily run upstairs and grab what I need. And then things that I use monthly or even more than that, monthly or every other month down here. So I totally forgot to close up the video earlier. I was folding laundry. Because my battery died, I was like, okay, I gotta go get Avery. Um, and actually Mike was like, oh, I'll go get her. He was in the basement working and he was like, I'll go get her. So then I went up and got the twins. I showered and then we made dinner. So I feel like it's been a whirlwind of an evening. Mike's upstairs getting bath started. So I'm gonna go up, he's bathing them. I'm gonna go put the laundry away. It's usually how we divide and conquer. There's always something. Um, so I'm gonna go put the laundry away, but I just wanted to say goodbye, close out this video. I'll probably start editing this tonight. I like to get a jump start on the night so I can get it up hopefully for you guys on Sunday. But thank you so much for being here as always. Last Sunday I was reading through the comments and it was a long day. It was a long weekend for a variety of reasons. It was like nothing too much. It was just like a very, very busy weekend. And it was the end of the night 
and every Sunday night I go through my comments. I go through them periodically throughout the day. But at night, right before bed, I always do like another pass through. And like, I was like, I just can't believe how good I feel after I read all of your comments. And it just makes me realize how important this community is to me and how much you guys give back to me. So thank you for that. I appreciate it more than you guys will ever, ever know. You're gonna see this on Sunday. There's no video on Thursday, but there should be one up. Well, there will be up unless something crazy happens the following Sunday. And then you know the following Thursday after that. So thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.